New South Wales police have dropped all terrorism charges against Khmer Nizamdeen, who was accused of plotting to assassinate Australian politicians. However, police have refused to apologise to Nizamdeen, claiming that the investigation was still ongoing. Nizamdeen was arrested in August by New South Wales' joint counterterrorism team and accused of plotting Islamic State-inspired lone wolf attacks targeting the Opera House, other notable landmarks and the former Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull. The prosecution relied almost exclusively on a notebook discovered on campus at University of New South Wales said to contain details of the plot. But according to the lawyer of the accused, this evidence against Nizam Dean was fundamentally flawed and handwriting experts were unable to link the writing in the notebook to Nizam Dean's. Police were then forced to release him on bail last month. His family and supporters firmly maintained his innocence and the case prompted protests here in Sri Lanka. The matter appeared again in court today and according to ABC, police are dropping the charge of collecting or making documents likely to facilitate terrorist acts and are withdrawing the case against Nizam Din. A court earlier heard that no extremist material was found in his computer or mobile phone. Nizam Din, who spent four weeks in Goulburn's Supermax jail, is now looking to sue for compensation.